We've got Marwan Al Shabagi here showing us a really good forehand drop shot. Um, there's a lot of threats and options. This is what I think he does really well. He goes in there and it's a little bit of an easy shot from his opponent. But not only the threats and options, the execution, there, there's a lot of great stuff going on here. And let's start to unpack it bit by bit. Marwan's got a bit of a classic, was well, a classic, but a very unique forehand that he goes in a little bit lower than a lot of players do. So from that position there, you know, his, his hand is really low. He's dropping that right shoulder. But from there, he has the ability to whip that ball in, in, into any area of the court. He's going in with that open stance. And again, you'll see a lot of other players will get that racket a lot more alert. They'll be a little bit higher up. Maybe the elbow and the, the hand will be higher up. But this is Marwan's strength. When he's got this tuned in, there's so much he can do. So you can see from there, you know, he has the ability to flick the wrist. He's in a really nice balanced position. And there's not much he's showing there. He's breaking his swing really late. But when he breaks it, he really drops that racket head back and open and under and inside the ball. All these great little bits that make the ball go into an awkward area. And his body shape is definitely not traditional initially in that point, but the effectiveness is, is superb. And then you've got someone like Dezuki who's really fast and explosive, you know, really struggling to kind of read that. His split step, he's leaning back a bit, so he's on the back foot, and he, he just can't get there, you know. And even though that drop comes back a little bit, there's still no chance of, of um, Dezuki getting that back. But it's also where Marwan puts the ball nice and accurate, nice and straight. So by the time that ball reaches the second bounce, it's as far away from his opponent as possible. So he goes there, hits that relatively low. It's a little bit risky, but perfect for the situation. First bounce an inch or two away from the sidewall. And then by the time that second bounce bounces, look how close it is to that sidewall. So that's where hitting inside the ball really helps take the ball a bit wider and stretches his opponent just that little bit inch further than he wants to make it impossible to get back from this position.